turn the machine on. Jimmy Klein fires up his hot new invention. His machine emits a flame that feels only slightly warm to the touch. But watch what happens when he touches anything else. Instantaneously, I can burn a hole right down through the center of that brick. The flame instantly turns hotter than the surface of the sun. Heat so intense it takes only seconds to literally burn a hole through charcoal. Three seconds turns a brass ball to glowing liquid metal. Tungsten lights up like a sparkler. Steel, lead, and other metal slices on contact. Yet the tip of the welder stays cool to the touch. No other gas will, will do this. Denny Klein uses an alternative fuel source once thought impossible. He says people still have trouble believing him when he reveals his liquid fuel. Water. Take water and electricity and we break it down through our uh, very unique electrolysis process. Klein has just patented his process of converting H2O to HHO, producing a gas that combines the atomic power of hydrogen with the chemical stability of water. It turns right back to water. You can see the water running off of this. Klein originally designed his water-burning engine for cutting metal. He thought his invention would replace volatile acetylene in welding factories. And then one day, as he drove to his laboratory in Clearwater, he thought of another way to burn his HHO gas. On a 100-mile trip, uh, we use about four ounces of water. Klein says his prototype 1994 Ford Escort can travel exclusively on water, though he currently has it rigged to run as a water and gasoline hybrid. Simply speaking. Uh, speaking, you can change the world by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. These are equivalent to our... Uh... Pete Dominici is helping Klein take his hydrogen technology patents from a two-room office in Clearwater to consumer markets around the world. You know what? Microsoft came out of nowhere, came out of the garage. Why not hydrogen technologies? The duo is already in negotiations with one U.S. automaker and the U.S. government. Their plans have grown from basic welding with water to powering the entire world from the safest and cleanest fuel on earth. Craig Patrick, Fox News. Members of Congress recently invited Denny Klein to Washington to demonstrate his technology. Now his company is currently developing a Hummer for the U.S. military that can run on both water and gasoline. So far, his water-powered engines have passed all performance safety inspections, so all systems appear to be go right now. Gives new meaning to the term running water. You just have to hope that water prices don't go up like the gas 